we're trying to build an ATM slot machine. The idea is that you put in your debit card, you type in your pin number, you select how much you'd like to win, you pull the handle, the real spin, jackpot guaranteed, every single time, all for the low, low price of the ATM fee. But not everything is going according to plan. Why isn't the keypad working? I'm back in San Francisco after coming back from DEF CON, and we're gonna try our best to get this ATM back online. I made a list of all the things I think we have left to do. <laughs> we need to get the master code for the ATM. Yeah. I'm gonna call uh, the dude back on Monday, yeah. and hopefully he'll just say yes, and then that saga will be finished. What's going on? <laughs> Success. You got the key? No. <laughs> we have a path forward. All so, right. the dude that sold us the ATM um, is still not willing to give us the password, but he said we could mail him back the keypad and he's gonna mail us a new keypad today that That's will have the proper bad. keys in it. So I need to remove the one no th problem. that we know is working. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna mail that to him either tonight or tomorrow morning is what I told him. We still don't get the master password, which would be really nice to have. Solve that in the future. I think, yeah, we got some other things in the works yeah. that might solve that. But I think this gets us where we need to be. Totally. Well, another week, another ATM part. We've got a replacement keypad, and uh, hopefully this has the right encryption keys on it. it will allow us to get the ATM back online. Still turns on. That's good. Good sign. Good. Cash dispenser error. Sweet. <laughs> That's good news. Can't connect to the cash dispenser. So let's hook up the cash dispenser. Sure. Just let's get everything, let's get this thing happy again so that we'll come online. Okay, I think I've got it working. Uh, we've got it hooked up to the cash dispensing unit over here, which is the one I haven't modified. And now it's asking me to add bills. So it's processing right now. Now it needs to connect to the network. Cool. Welcome, strange parts. Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's online. Sure, I'll check my balance. That worked. That takes a huge load off. Now we're in the home stretch for sure. We just need to like finish polishing up and finishing wiring and, and whatnot and fully integrate these. Uh, but this is definitely gonna happen. <sighs> huge load off the chest. I just fried the ATM. I don't know how, but I smelled smoke. I was just sitting here debugging, trying to get the CDU hooked back up. And I smelled smoke and I shut everything off. And uh, there are two blown resistors or caps on the back of here. The screen's not showing or anything. I don't know what happened. We're dead in the water. Oh my god. I guess for another thousand dollars we can buy another ATM. I just fried the ATM. What does that mean? It means I have to buy a new ATM. No. The major setback. You gotta walk, walk away. I think so. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> like, How much are those things? Oh, just, just like a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? Yeah. Oh. Dude. Hey, what's up, man? I'm just driving. What's going on? I think I broke the ATM. Oh, no. Yeah. I got this, like, whiff of smoke. And, uh, and then I saw the smoke. And then I shut everything off. And, uh, now the ATM won't boot. Oh, fuck. Uh, shit. I think I'm gonna walk away for today. I think we can take another look at it. And maybe we're in you back on Tuesday and we'll figure out next steps. In the meantime, I'll see uh, how, how hard it is to get another ATM over here. 
So, where are we at? Well, you have the gist of it. <laughs> the smoke came out. <laughs> I let out the magic smoke, and now nothing doesn't work anymore. Nothing works anymore. The one thing I was slightly fuzzy on was like power. I was like working over here and I sort of noticed smoke to like wafting here, but I didn't really know from where. And then I started shutting stuff off and unplugging things. I think I found where the smoke is coming from. Right. <laughs> so there are two burnt capacitors on the back of the keypad. Oh, here you go. That part of the problem. <laughs> so oh. one of these just little banana plugs, spade plugs is pretty charred. Those wires go to the relay on the bell. Oh it has four God leads on that. Yeah, so that was 120. That's always good. Which is <laughs> why it was definitely exciting when it sparked. Yeah. So, EMV is not a hard requirement, right? But it makes us more liable in the case of fraud. If we have EMV. What does that stand for, by the way? Electronic <laughs> something you, verification? You, no. Eurocard mask. Oh. Eurocard, Mastercard, and Visa. It's it's yeah. the chip technology, but it was de oh, developed okay. by them. By them, yeah. So, were there any of the non-EMV ones local? Not that I found. I haven't found any any locally. But it sounds like that's the project for tomorrow morning. I kind of resigned myself to spending the money at this point. I think it's just a matter of time. Yeah. And uh, if we don't have to spend the fifteen hundred bucks and limit ourselves to like one or two. EMV models that we can find online, then that makes me less nervous and it's less expensive. So. I slept on it and I, I think the best thing is just to buy one of these EMV kits and a new keypad and just get all the new components we need. It's just a lot simpler. The next problem is that most people are sold out of the EMV upgrade kits that have the, the screen and the, the motherboard and the, the card reader and everything. I'm looking for, I've got a Hyosung 1500, and I'm looking for an EMV upgrade kit. And uh, I saw on your site, you, you guys sell them, and I wonder if you had any in stock. Oh man, okay. Thank you so much. I'm looking for an EMV upgrade kit for it. I'm wondering if you had any in stock. Okay. Yeah, that's right, thank you. I'm looking for an EMV upgrade kit for a Hyosung 1500. Any chance that you, you have um, a complete 1500 in stock? Yes! I'm gonna get this ordered here. The way things go, I guess. Uh, this is a very expensive mistake, but uh, hopefully this gets us back on track and I, I'm ready to move on to the next project, to be honest. <laughs> so, excited to see this thing up and running finally and move on. ATM parts acquired and... Slot machine parts. Sweet. You think we can get it running on the bench first? Totally outside of the machine? Okay. Cool. All, right. All right, I got everything hooked back up. I guess I may as well try one with everything off. So Arduino off, boot it up, and then I always turn the Arduino on. I'm not smoking. So start. I guess I may as well plug in the Arduino. That is a good sign. Well, Matt, I think we might be back in business. All that's left is to install these ATM parts without breaking anything. All right, here goes nothing. Broke another ATM. I just heard it. I'm sorry. Makes sense. You know how I was saying last time I didn't know what I did? That broke it? Yeah. This time I do. <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's a start. But it's also really dumb. <laughs> so, <laughs> last time I had the plausible viability of like, I don't know what I did. It might not have been really my fault. Definitely my fault this time. Just plugged the wrong thing in. Yeah. So. <sighs> Can't believe it. I even checked like that it was the right orientation. Yeah. But I just you can't see it. Like 
can't even see it unless you really get down there and look. And I was just feeling around. So the one that you put it into isn't even used, right? It's the one for the printer. Right. <laughs> so let's just we'll just take that out. Right. The problem is it's kind of hard to find. It. Yeah, that's that's by far the bigger problem. Is that when you find it. Yeah. Like I've kind of given up on making money on this project, but I'm okay with losing money at this point. I just want to be over. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know how eager I'm, I am to be done with this. Yeah. So therefore, I can only imagine how eager you are. That's really the only thing I'm upset about. <laughs> is that it's not done. It's proving very hard to find parts. I have one guy who has two kids. He's saving them for his own processing customers. There is the guy in Chicago. And then the third option that I have is I found a machine that supposedly EMV upgraded on Craigslist in New York City or Long Island. Hi, uh, we just spoke about the uh, 1500 ATM. Our situation is that we just need to get the parts as quickly as possible. So I think I might have ATM parts. I managed to broker a crazy agreement where with the guy in Brooklyn and had my friend Idan, who lives in New York, go out and disassemble a thing in the convenience store that it's installed in. Hello? Yo, Idan, Scotty, how'd it go? It was an experience. <laughs> uh, so I met him in um, Williamsburg and then we drove to uh, Brownfield, which is like, the most dangerous neighborhood in New York. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> um, then he kind of dropped me off. He's like, okay, you can take part of the ATM. What? Um, he's kind of left me there. <laughs> and, like, didn't explain anything to the store owner? No, like, he didn't even say hi to the store owner. I was like, uh, hi? <laughs> I swear I'm here on the official business. <laughs> um, it sounds like a cra like a way crazier adventure than uh, than what I, I asked you to sign up for. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, yeah, um, so I have all the parts in my office right now. I think, like, just overnighting it, like, via FedEx or something is probably the best. Thank you so much again, man. This is, yeah. No, anytime. Lifesaver. It seems like I've got one more chance to get this right. Uh, if I break these parts, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. I got two overnight shipments from Edan. Card reader. I think the next step is to just double check this setup works mm -hmm. and then do what we were doing before and like put it in. Works. I think it's time to do the thing we've been failing to do for weeks, which is to install all this stuff in, uh, in the slot machine. We'll go get mad. So we're just trying to get just ATM boot in. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Mm. Shit. Let's try rebooting again. Yeah. Let's do it from there to temporarily out of service. I think so. I think we're at a stopping point. Fuck. Should we just let it sit there for a second and see if it kicks, fixes itself? Yeah, I don't think there's any harm. My ATM won't boot. It's blue screening. I'm gonna go home and cry. Why can't this be easier? Put in the uh, a new power supply in the, in the thought that maybe our power supply is bad. So I think what we do is we wait a bit and just see like maybe it's defragging or whatever. Just doing the super the ATM slow machines do when they get turned off at weird times. <laughs> it boots! It boots! It boots! It boots! It boots! Ah, we weren't watching, but ah, look at that! Card reader error. Look at that! I thought we just had to cross that off the list. Yeah. Move right. On. Oh my god! Ah! All right, so we, we tweaked it out when it was booting, and then it had to... And it had to deep, deep frag. <laughs> I did not expect that! Yeah, yesterday we were like going home and like 
fifty percent sure we needed another ATM. Yeah. So this story together that we're looking at right now is usually five seconds. And I was like, just for the hell of it, let's just let it sit for thirty minutes yeah, on I mean, this like, screen and see what happens. Okay, here we go. You put in your ATM card, you arrive, type in your PIN number. You arrive that this machine is trustworthy. You <laughs> yeah, right. You select your amount, hit cash dispenser. <laughs> Almost there. You got, you got to reconnect to the network. That's, got the, to, that's big, the big, scary remaining thing. All right, I'm about to call our friends that sold us the first ATM on eBay and are providing the processing for it and see if I can convince them to add this new ATM to the to the network, to the processing network. I'm so nervous about this. I really, I honestly hate talking on the phone and I particularly hate talking on the phone in like business context to people I don't know to try and convince them to do things. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail. He says, uh, sorry, I can't talk right now. Go back in a little bit. So I just got sent a contract for the ATM processing. Pulling up my laptop here, gonna electronically sign it, send it back to them, and hopefully we can get this ATM online. Yeah, I was just calling to see if you still had time to get that set up today. Okay. Oh, we timed out. Okay, I'm ready for the the first part of the first key. This reset on me again. Okay, I think we have the numbers that we need. I have not been able to correctly put them in. Should we try and put them correctly in now? Yeah, just it's like get uh, the, the game Sorry. Like, or it's, what's it, the one where the, it pops, the timer. Twist it, pop it, yeah. jump it. <laughs> it feels like that. It's really bad. Oh, shit. God dang it. <laughs> cancel out. Oh, this is so stressful. <laughs> I the tiger. Yes. Yes, the right <laughs> yeah, number. It's the right number. Sweet. It all matches up. Try going in service. See what happens. This could be it. Close the vault door. Oh my god. So let's just try getting a balance first. That worked? Okay, here it goes. 20 bucks. Oh god, I hope this works. Yes! Amazing! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Pull the handle, good luck. <laughs> Do the sounds? Oh, I turned them off. Uh, and the hoppers are turned off right now because they were triggering earlier. <laughs> okay, we gotta adjust yeah, some yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that totally But worked. that totally worked. Yeah, just do a normal ATM transaction. <laughs> I ain't having no transactions on that thing. <laughs> he knows too much. Oh, I man. could do mine. Finally, the time we've been waiting for to put the finished front on the machine. There you go. Got it. All right, we are doing one last check here. Matt is checking all my wiring, and um, then we're gonna turn it on after getting it all buttoned up, hopefully for the last time in the shop here. Okay, thumbs up. I only wanna check one thing, and that's the thing that bit us last time, which is the power supply. Yeah. Looks good. I want to get the full experience. <laughs> Be the first person to get. Yes. That's pretty satisfying. Sweet, dude. So, I don't know that we've told people what's gonna happen next. We oh. 
Yeah. We're taking this across town yeah. to show it off. Because we the original plan was to bring this to DEF CON, which was <laughs> months ago. nigh on two months ago now. <laughs> so we still wanted a way to show it off. So we're, we're going to invite uh, a whole bunch of friends and family and friends of Strange Parts um, to come try it out at Free Gold Watch, which is the arcade where you have a bunch of your arcade games, mm -hmm. and um, and they have a bunch of pinball machines, and um, so we're gonna go put this in the truck and cart it across the town, and hopefully not destroy it in yeah. the process. <laughs> I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree. Are we actually loading this out of your shop? Yeah, what do you think we're doing? <laughs> well, just like, no, I mean just like, is this really happening? Yeah, is this really happening? I've been running from the law. Good to see you. Village, look at this. <laughs> wow. So this is what you've been up to? This is what we've been up to for the past three months. <laughs> so, the question is, who wants to be first? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we we're not gonna give you any instructions. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand back and watch. <laughs> Don't steal my mind. Don't steal my mind. <laughs> I know. Bar bar bar. Hey, I'm a winner. <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> I got oh, it! Awesome! Nice! Sweet. First successful <laughs> treasure customer. <laughs> Woo! Woo! We could let you experience the super jackpot if you want. <laughs> would you, would you like to experience the What's super jackpot? Mean? Okay. Super jackpot is now enabled. Wild, wild, wild. Yes! Ew. I'm You're so a winner! I'm so nervous at that moment. What's gonna happen? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> shit, are you paying? I'm so paying! I'm so paying! But we, but we got you a bucket to hold them in. Oh, I'm there! That's it! Hey! Woo! <laughs> so this is the magic machine, yeah? Have you ever won the jackpot on our sauce? No, I really played it because you're also so bad. Won the jackpot! Congratulations! <laughs> so it works just like a normal ATM. Yeah, and you just a whole Please tell me I don't get pennies. God damn it. <laughs> you please, instead of putting it at those uh, shows, just take it to a laundromat? Yeah. yeah. Can you put them all of, over there? I know, that'd be this great if you had, there was one of these in the laundromat dream. and this is how you had to get your quarters out. Yeah. Dude, we did it. <laughs> we finally did it. I know. Feels so good to show everybody. I can't believe it. What, what, what we've been up to the past three months. And it works. I know. I know, it works every people time. People got quarters, played games with them, yep. totally worked. Yeah. And, and people were super into it. Yeah. And pennies worked. And yeah. yeah. Oh, I feel so much better. Me too. Like I'm, yeah, I'm just glowing now. Um, thank you for yeah. this crazy adventure. It's been I mean, we adventure. only really barely knew each other before diving it's into true. this. And uh, I feel like I've, I've gotten to know a really close friend. We spent friend. a lot of hours together. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. Me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been really, really fun. Um, I want you to get a chance to show off what you do when you're not building crazy shit with me. Yeah. Well, the reason why we did this at Free Gold Watch is because I have a bunch of my arcade games here. Yeah. And so I make these little arcade games. They're all the original hardware, so it's original PCBs, and they all have CRTs and not LCDs, so and original controllers and everything's proper. So they're just like the full-size game. Yep. They're just smaller. Yeah, if you set the high scores, that's a legit high score. Like, you yeah. put it in the book. So these are for, like, like serious arcade game players. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah not yeah. just, you know, a rinky-dink, like, quarters. emulator or none of that. Yeah, no emulation, uh, no, every, no nothing like that. So they all take quarters, and so I just have them here at the arcade. I got a bunch of them right here and so it was great to see people playing them tonight it was awesome 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 and uh where can you find out more about about these and what you do um you check me out on instagram small change arcade 
um, YouTube. I have a YouTube channel and all, all the social media stuff and uh, smallchangearcade.com. Okay. And um, I do event rentals in the Bay Area. And um, or you can come right here to Free Gold Watch and play some games. And we'll we'll put a link to those down in the description. I think what some people will ask is, what if I have an arcade and I want an ATM slot machine? Can I get Matt to build one for me? I don't me? know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> put it this way: if you want like any weird thing made that doesn't exist, hit me up. We'll see. If, see if we can work out. Who knows? Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Dude, awesome. This has been Good job. an awesome project. <laughs> Some beer. Yeah, I'm know. looking forward to that. Play some games. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see what happens when we release this video and and what emerges out of the woodwork. Uh, I imagine that we're gonna get some interesting phone calls and emails. Yeah. So yep. yeah, let's go have a beer and celebrate. Awesome. Let's go. This, this has been one heck of an adventure, and I couldn't have done it without a whole bunch of people. And the first off is you for supporting Strange Parts and me and Matt in this crazy adventure and for watching and coming along with us for the ride. Uh, but there's also a ton of other people, uh, Derek and, and Don and, and all of other, Matt's other shopmates for putting up with us for this long. We told them it was gonna take us way less time than it actually did. Uh, Nate and the folks over at Public Glass for helping us out with the glass work. Uh, ben and Patrick, you, you saw them a bit on camera, but they both did a ton behind the scenes. Uh, Joe for helping us film, Kevin for editing, uh, all of the folks in the ATM industry that tracked down parts and answered weird questions, even if they didn't fully know what we were up to, uh, and the folks at, at Squires and Corey Slot Machines, um, that's a real gem of a shop. Uh, couldn't do it without all this huge cast of characters um, behind, behind the lens and um, they all deserve as much credit as, as Matt and I do. That about does it for this time. I'm Scotty from Strange Parts. If you enjoyed this adventure and you wanna see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and, uh, and stay tuned. I, I've got a bunch more cool stuff coming up soon. Uh, I've said no to a lot of really interesting things while I've been here in the Bay Area because we've been stuck working on this project, um, and I'm ready to start saying yes to, to a lot of those things. So yeah, I'm really excited for, for the adventures to come. I'll see you again soon. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, if you want to see the ATM slot machine, go check it out at Free Gold Watch here in San Francisco. It's in the Upper Haight. Uh, very cool shop. Um, well worth the stop by by itself, uh, ignoring the ATM slot machine part.